We don't have a major announcement today relative to, uh, to a return date. Uh, we're making great progress, but we're just not quite ready to do that. Coming through in her blue flight suit. Uh, and followed shortly behind by Commander of Starliner, Butch Wilmore. Now back on the space station, the third visit for both astronauts and the first crewed flight test. Houston copies and uh, Starliner, we're expecting six minute uh, lighting hold before NDS configures for docking. Starliner at one and a half meters away, currently about 25 seconds from docking. Okay, indeed. Uh, the last several weeks have been really helpful to understand the helium and thruster anomalies and how to address these problems for future flights. That's That's been the the real goal here is to be able to address future flights and to gain the confidence that we needed uh, for this mission. Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes, drawing a line to the stars for all of us. Calling down to Mission Control here in Houston that the spacecraft has begun rolling into the right attitude for its ascent. And the guidance, navigation, and control officer here in the room seeing good data on that. And we are coming up on 30 meters from the International Space Station, getting a beautiful view now of Starliner as it continues its approach. Houston copies and uh, Starliner, we're expecting six minute uh, lighting hold before NDS configures for docking. Our mission was to learn from a flight test. Uh, a lot of the learning that we've, we've uh, achieved so far really, in my opinion, could only be achieved through the flight test, and now it's time to uh, get on with returning the crew safely, and there's that step left to go. Mm -hmm.